again, and this is Funny Minds, and I am your host, Lynn B. And over here, we have my co-host and son, Edward Biss. Edward, say hello to everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Today, we have uh, on our podcast, our, our uh, just had our cherry pop today, so this is uh, cherry popping number two. Today, we are featuring Mr. Frank Cologne. Well, it is my extreme pleasure to be a uh, guinea pig on your first show here. <laughs> uh, well, at least, at least my, you know you're and, an uh, absolute I, guinea pig. I, drove, I did drive about 90 miles an hour to get home in order to do this for you. Okay? Oh, through, Frank, through, you're a sweetheart. Okay? Five lights. I actually pulled out my goals car just so to be on the safe side. I had it right on the seat so you could count the over. I have but, uh, to tell you that years fun. ago, uh, Frank and my son played in a band together. So their hair was down to here, and they used to come and play in my driveway, and all my neighbors would come and bring um, booze and, and food and chairs and sit on my lawn, and they would perform, and everybody loved it. They loved it. It was years ago, and Frank imagined him with his hair down to here, and it was black, and it was curly. It was gorgeous. Now let's see your head, Frank. Ready for this? Ready. Yay! Oh, okay. <laughs> hold on, me... Wait, wait, hold on. Wait a second. I've got a, I've got a whole bunch of stuff here. I've got a, I've got a whole closet full of them, so I've just got them all sorted out, but I, I just thought I'd just wear the hat today. But anyways... It's cold. It's uh, I'm in New Jersey. It is uh, getting extremely cold. We're looking to get down into like twenties tonight, so that's why I got the hat on. Oh, know. I'm so happy I'm in Florida. I don't come back until Tuesday, oh, so hopefully I'll bring some know. nice warm weather back with me for a while. You don't, you don't know what you're missing, but it's okay. <laughs> you know what I'm missing. <laughs> and if I can see here, Ed's got his uh, Kansas City shirt on. Yes, he does. And uh, I'll see a little Scooby Doo going on. Scooby Doo so, Doo. Might I add, when, when Ed was here visiting me a couple of weeks ago, we were actually able to watch the uh, uh, the the championship game, which they did win. Remember that, Eddie? And, uh, it was yeah, that that, that was um, what game? The one they yeah, actually they, won. They, they no, who? The Chiefs. Oh, the Chiefs game. Oh, the yeah. Chiefs were playing. They it was a close game. That was a. Ch- Eddie was losing his. That was. He was uh, losing his mind. That, was that the exciting game where it was back? That and was forth? the Bills. That was the most that exciting. Was the that was the game. Bills and Chiefs. That was like better than the Super Bowl. Oh, that was the best game I've ever watched. Right, and I called the game. <clears throat> I don't know if Eddie ever told you that I basically predicted every play that was going to happen. So it did happen, and they won because of me. Oh no! I, I swear to I swear <laughs> to God, I got to the point where I had to tell him to shut up because. Every, even even as meaningless as as missing a field goal or anything, anything he said, whether it was for or against the Chiefs, happened. Oh my God, Frank! So then we got to the point where we're like, just shut up. Wall that you look yeah. into, and oh, okay. It was it was one of those days. It was one so of those days. tell us what you're doing, Frank. We want to know. America wants to know. Funny Minds wants to know. What are you well, doing? you want to know what Funny Minds want to know? I just I just was sitting here getting myself uh, ready uh, to talk to you guys, and um, I've been uh, kind of like giving Eddie a little bit of the uh, situation with my cat. Uh, I did a talk oh. to cat about... Now, Ed, when Eddie was here like three months ago, I had just adopted a cat out of the shelter, oh. and um, she was like hiding under my bed the whole time. Eddie was, of course, sleeping on the couch, and... Um, and I don't know if you remember, I told you, don't go in the bedroom because she's scared enough as it is. She's hiding underneath the bed. Oh, yeah. And uh, she would only come out in the middle of the night and um, eat and, of course, poop in the middle of the night and wake me up every single night about 3 o'clock in the morning <laughs> with a stench that you could not believe. <laughs> I mean, it would literally wake me up out of a deep sleep. At first, I, if I was dreaming, I would think that I was like, like, in a pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> You thought you were having a shit dream? Yeah, I was having a shit dream, if I can say that. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're allowed to say it. You can say whatever you want. 
this was like the topic of my conversation with everybody. Everyone, everyone would tell me, like, how are you doing today? And I would say, like, I'm having the most miserable day because I had no sleep last night because I got up in the middle of the night uh, because of this, this, and that. So Is she I a baby, Frank? Is she a little kitten? So, so a couple of weeks ago, I came up with this brilliant idea. I said, you know what? Under the bed is not going to happen anymore. So I went to Home Depot, I bought some one by sixes, okay, <laughs> some fresh lumber, and I completely barricaded the bottom of my bed so she couldn't get under there. <laughs> I got her out, bought her a little bed, all right, it's a nice little house, put her in the closet, and now she lives in the closet, she never comes out. Oh, gee. Okay, so. <laughs> she <laughs> she so, won't come out of the closet? She knows she won't come out of the closet. Is she, she next to Tom Cruise? Oh, God. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? But the reason I'm talking about this is because as as I was like getting all this set up, um, I saw like something move underneath the television set, and I kind of peeked under and I seen her tail. So she did come out. She was underneath the television set, and then she just went back in. But for all those that adopt a cat from the shelter, uh, it's it's rough. It's rough. If you're looking for a companion, it's not going to happen. I'm just buying tons of food and changing the little boxes every other day. You're just um, a just slave to your kitten. I have, I have like a ghost cat. That's, that's pretty much what it is. Yeah, so. but how long do you have her? Three months. And what's her name? Tessa. What is it? Give me a Tessa. It's <laughs> Tessa. But wait, do you give? Do you call her out with treats? I call her out with everything. Yeah, I could practically give her gold as as right now. I could give her catnip. I give her everything. She just. Completely just hides. Well, maybe. Uh, how old is she? Out. How old is she? I think she's about four or five. Oh, so she's an older cat. So you don't know what kind of a house she came from. Absolutely. Uh, no, she's never been in a house. She's always been like in the streets. Oh, so she's feral. She's a feral cat. She's a feral, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, so, so no. Uh, it takes a lot for you, for a feral cat kind to of. warm up to you. Yeah. And I'm not going to give up on her, so... No, she don't can... give up on her. You can stand no, on your head, whistle not. Dixie. Don't give up on her. Just be kind and loving and try... Call try Jackson it, Galaxy, bro. Yeah. Who's that guy? Jackson that, Galaxy. Yeah, the pet guy. He, he psychoanalyzes I need, I your a, animals. I need a cat therapist or a cat. I need someone to Dude, yeah. ja Jackson Galaxy shows up with, like, the Les Paul, Paul case and... Yeah, he's got the tats and the beard and everything. He's all tatted up with he and he, dude, he's awesome. He, it's the really, it's yeah, Jackson yeah. Galaxy. It's my he does a show, My Cat from Hell. You're kidding me? Yeah, yeah he does. look dude, it up. He, look it up. It's called My oh, Cat from Hell. Watch it. Maybe. He he comes in. He's kind of like the, the the cat version of Caesar Milan. But you know, you'll probably have to work five jobs to pay him to help your cat. You know, no. If he cho if he chooses your story, they come on for mm, free. Mm. So, it's like, you write him and say, "Listen, I I adopted a cat from a a shelter. No one wanted it. it your story would be perfect for him because that's oh, yeah. like right up his alley. He'd come to your house, you know, do an a, a, you know analysis, and then give you some homework and work with certain things and look at the behavior, and then within like a week, the week and a half, changes the behavior of right. the animal. Of he, the he animal, and I've seen him turn cats around that were mauling their owners. Yeah, mauling. Like, and your cat's not even violent. I've seen him, like, literally you know attacking it's, it's, it's and biting. She's like a total scaredy cat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> literally. So Frank is a musician, right? That he is. He's a very accomplished musician, a drummer. He sings. Oh, my goodness. We I went to see him at the Orange Lantern in Jersey a couple of months ago. What a fabulous show he put on. And... Oh. Frank, I have to tell you, you did a great job. You and your band did a great, great job. And so the name of your band is, tell us about it. Yeah, it's funny. It's, we're called Rockland. But not like Rockland County from New York. Just yeah, right. Rockland. <laughs> <laughs> like so, and, our band's uh, name is Sussex. Name, not not the county. We've name for like two years. And we were, we were going to change it a couple of times. And then... Uh, it became such a pain in the neck just to change, so we just kept it. Because every time we, every, anyone said, what's the name of your band? And we said Rockland, they would say, oh, yeah, from Rockland, New York. Which, oh, no. <laughs> the name of the band's that Rockland. Well, when, so, I said it, when I said it to my friends, when they, you know, they wouldn't come to see you, I said Rockland. They said, like, oh, Rockland? I'm like, yeah, Rockland. 
Okay. You know, that's cool. Rockland. Yeah, Rockland. So. Rock on, um, rock on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're still rocking, and uh, Eddie was with us a couple of weeks right. ago and uh, killed it that night. And uh, I still get compliments from that all the time, Eddie. Anybody that says, well, what about that other guitar player you had off stage? Is he going to be jamming with you again? I go, no, he lives in Florida. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, he is. He's just going to keep flying up here every other month and, and just, just <laughs> jam it out. A, I can afford to buy you a plate now with the, the way the, the, air, the airline tickets are skyrocketed off the roof. That'll be um, my I that'll be my pay. Like I won't get paid to like play in the game. band. They'll just they'll just fly you. They'll up. just fly me <laughs> up, and I just play for free, and uh, have some killer Jersey diner food, and uh, yeah, and be good. yeah, disco fries, disco, ah, disco, disco, right. disco fries. Oh so so tell us some places that you you're you've been playing in, and what you know what your future is with the band, and where you're gonna play. Well, right now. Um, our singer, um, other singer, um, John, of course, you know, John, yes. um, had a, a surgery, oh. okay. Um, to get, uh, some reconstructive surgery on, uh, um, existing issue that he has. So, okay. um, he's been in the hospital for about a week and a half to two weeks now. Like plastic um, surgery? Uh, or is he having problems? Actually, or are they going to help him it's, see? It's, it's or? a little bit more it's a little bit more involved in that um it's kind of like on the inside okay a lot of the structural stuff that's got to get done for him okay so um he's been in the hospital for like a week and a half so um we are going to um move things around and, and try to get him for the next gig which is april 8th okay. and that's going to be down in south jersey at a place called mcdonough's it's um down the shore by uh where our guitar player lives <clears throat> by so, billy um Yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, then after that, um, we've got a gig. Uh, this one's a good one. This is at Reds. Um, if anybody knows where MetLife Stadium is, there's this big place called Reds. And um, they're literally within a, you can throw a rock to right to Giant, uh, Giant Stadium. And that, okay. that's a big place. And that's April 23rd. That's going to be a lot of fun night that night. So, okay. Um, Reds. I think I've heard of that. If anyone wants to come out that night, you don't have to drive two hours to get down to the shore. This one's like, you know, uh, right next to us and um, here in uh, North Jersey. So that's Reds. And uh, I believe that's um, Rutherford, I guess. I think that's Meadowlands. Rutherford, yeah. So it's Pat- is it Patterson yeah. Plank Road, I think, Reds? Yes. 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 <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so everybody, so, you know, you're going to go see um, Rockland play down at Reds. Just It's just Rockland. Well, whatever. It's not the land of rock. It's the it's Rockland. Let's all let's all plane tickets. Uh, and now uh, he will blow his before that, and Eddie can just fly up for the weekend. That would be great. So. <laughs> I know Frank would so, love that. Frank would be so happy. Yeah, we only sounded like a thousand times better with Eddie, so uh, it just made everything <laughs> so much fuller. But anyways. Um, well, I'm coming back, man. Season. We're doing, we're, uh-huh. yeah, we're we're doing more gigs, and, and you got to come down uh, in July or whenever we're doing uh, playing Daytona, <clears throat> Van Shell on the beach. That's the plan. Yeah, That's the plan. we're gonna have to pass. I the thought that was June. June, something like that. I don't know, but is it June or July? I, I think it's June. I think it's June, something like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. This way, you so, could come uh, up on stage and jam. That's right. You come up on stage and jam with Eddie now. Yeah. Yes. Well, you would have a great time. It, it'll be in front of like 7,000 people, and you just get up and play like looks that kill. I'll try to keep my clothes on, that's for sure. I mean, no, no, no. You got to. <laughs> no, you can take them off. If no, you, you got to take your shirt off. It's a Tommy Lee thing, and then you You're have right. to uh, basically whip cream yourself up. and, and... Tommy Lee thing, yes. Yeah. Yes. Did yeah. you see the Tommy Lee and Pamela? Yes. Yes, it's killer. You know what? I started Seriously? watching it and I got so bored. How do you get I did, bored? I don't know. I just got bored. I don't know. I think, oh it, my I think it had to be. A, I think it had to be like a fan, a really big time like Motley Crue fan. But I love Motley Crue. But you know what? If Bam Anderson doesn't interest me in the least, she's so phony. Oh, she'll probably like bar my my podcast because I said that. You know. But him, I, I like so. him. It's just. You know, oh, Pam my God. Anderson I enjoyed is it hot. so much. I couldn't wait to see 
wait for the next series to come on. Are you kidding? Uh, I know. I could wait. I would. I would rush home, put that on, and watch it. I mean, it, I enjoyed it so much. I mean, they played their roles to the T. I mean, it <laughs> yeah. was absolutely amazing. Yep. I don't know. I thought it was great. I I, okay. I binge watched it. Did you really? We we called and ordered. Uh, I think it was on um, it's on Hulu. Yes. So we had the, I got my my sister in law's Hulu login so I could go. <laughs> Hulu, another sponsor, Hulu. But um, yeah, I I actually subscribed to Hulu <clears throat> just for that show, and then I was going to cancel, and now I can't figure out how to cancel. Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> I did that I with Peacock. Matter of fact, today I was trying to cancel it, and just, there's no way to cancel it. So I have, I, <laughs> there's got to be a way you can it. cancel it. We just did that with That's Peacock, so we could watch a Joe Exotic thing. Oh God. Peacock has a has a new. Uh, it's a Joe Exotic, um, the Tiger King. He, it's another documentary and also a show, uh, like a, a made for TV movie that has the chick uh, really? Ma- Kate McKinnon from Saturday Night Live in it. And I got hooked oh, on that, so I'm watching. Anything with her is amazing. I know, so I'm watching <laughs> the Joe Exotic, do- the new documentary, the new show, the Tommy Lee thing. So like, I'm back. I'm back oh, watching God. some good stuff. <laughs> I, w- I watch everything I can possibly get my hands on. I'm so involved in so many. I, and I DVR everything so that I can watch it at my leisure, you know, while I'm doing other things. So I've gotten I've gotten into you so many to. things. You have to. I don't think anybody actually sits down and watches live TV anymore. No, you but DVR things and, you know, you watch Hell on no. Hulu and HBO Max and Netflix and everything. I mean, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful thing. Right, right. So we're, <clears throat> right now we're watching the um, being from Jersey, and um, we're watching the uh, the NCAA uh, the uh, the basketball tournament. So who are you rooting and, for? Well, we've got a Jersey City team, St. Peter's, which is completely just that's my uh, my uncle's uh, it's like uh, a Cinderella story, dude. That's a uh, Suzanne, yeah. my cousin Sue, my uncle Raymond. That's his alma mater. My brother, my brother went there. And then my sister's husband, my brother-in-law, he also went there. Really? So we have two people from the family that graduated from St. Peter's. So, yeah, we're rocking for St. Oh, Peter's and hoping. Oh, on because it has, like, completely turned this part of New Jersey upside down. Oh, absolutely. You can't, it's, it's everybody's wearing the shirts. Oh, yeah. The peacock shirts. It's yeah. Peacock's. Oh, is that uh, is that the, what they are? Peacocks? And you you go yeah, peacock. You go all over Facebook and stuff, and all you see is peacocks all over the place. I That's mean, awesome. I, I think it's absolutely awesome. I really do. Yeah, no. So it's, I mean, my my brother, my brother in law up in heaven. They're just rooting them on big time. Oh my god! Absolutely. Well, hell, I for mean, the longest time up uh, up in that neck of the woods, you had Seton Hall that was the team basketball wise for. Eons. Well, yeah, Seton Hall's always been very, very good, <clears throat> but not, uh, not nowhere but near Pete, what's going no. on right now. Nowhere near. Yeah, this is, you know, it's this just is a phenomenon. This is a Cinderella story. For absolutely, sure. absolutely, and you've everybody got everybody the and their brother story. rooting for them because they're, they're they're such an underdog and they're doing such a great job. You know, so I'm hoping that St. Peter really is behind them, kicking their asses <laughs> all the way to the end so that they can win. You know. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? That would be incredible. Jersey City would go berserk. Oh right. my God! Journal Square would be medicine. like they'd be lighting Journal up the fireworks Square. and everything. Oh my God! Oh my God. I right, come right. from Jersey City. I hail from Jersey City. I'm an Irishman from Jersey City. Thirty Third Street, all the way. Thirty <laughs> Third. <laughs> the Heights. <laughs> so this, but you're Jersey right. Jersey City is- on the map, finally. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. We need to be on the map because Jersey's really like a a weird state. You know, but, but it's, I don't know, being here half my life, I, I don't right now, I don't think I would go anywhere as far as uh, moving wise, but uh, um, I, I, I truly enjoy it. I truly enjoy it. I like being here. I definitely like being here, but so, I like vacationing in the warm weather. So Eddie, I'm coming. Oh, down, yeah. So so tell us one of your funniest stories from playing, like, you know, the band, like people in the audience or, you know, somebody that was re- really, like, got you guys going. 
Um, are, you, are you talking about music? Or are you talking about when he was a male dancer? No, music. Music. Oh. We'll forget the male dancer. <laughs> <laughs> The audience no, will see you know, turn purple. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie and I will tell you that the, the, the good stories are back there. Are well, that'll back. be on episode two. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a whole different episode. Absolutely. I mean, I, and I was thinking about that today. I was thinking me and Eddie could probably do three hours of just stories. Oh, three. We could do a, like a, like five months of shows. If you, if, you, if you ever read the book The Dirt by Molly Crew, that our stories would put that book to shame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yes, we, yes, we should, and yes. We should, you know, like, let the laundry out, you know, with your, your, you know, with your mom being, being there and everything. So, like, you know... You can uh, say anything you're, 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 you want in front of Mama Biss. You can just. Well, I guess we're not. I mean, we are 50. 50 my birthday's tomorrow. I'll be 55 tomorrow. So. Oh, 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 I love it. I knew he was a so year I'm older old than me. I'm to let the dirty laundry out. That's wonderful. So. 55, yes, yes. bro. Wow. The big five, five, double digit. Yep. Wow. And yep. look, he only looks so 35. I, That's great. And he doesn't have to use well, Viagra I, I anymore. I rejoined the gym again. <laughs> and um, I worked out Thursday. And um, I, I still cannot move. But it's okay. It's all right. You now, know what? A couple of weeks ago, I went to two different stores and walked around for an hour and a half each. And, and I had things to do. Plus, I wanted to walk because it was so cold outside. So the next day, Wednesday, oh, my God, my legs felt like they were cement. I was like, oh, my God, what am I doing to myself? But then by Thursday, it was like, wow, this is great. I was peppy. I'm like, okay, I got to do this more often. You know, <laughs> it's like really felt great. Like every day. No, I don't know right. every well, day, but. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm still sore from three days ago. So Aww. got to get back on the track. Got to gotta, gotta, gotta get back on the horse and, and start working out again. All right. So Eddie tell us a funny great. story. Eddie looks good. I want to hear a funny Wait. story from, from, from playing the band from your. Your fans. Uh, I, right now everything's kind of subdued. Uh, the only thing I could think of um, that has happened uh, in the last couple of shows is uh, is is absolutely not. <laughs> it's, just, it, it's pretty boring, actually. No, uh, not boring for us. There's nothing crazy going on. Um, That's what happens. If he doesn't have me there, he has no... Well, wait, didn't somebody forget the words at the show we were at? Yeah, that's every one oh, that's of them. Every, that's every <laughs> show. That's every show, every song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where's my iPad? Um, yeah, no. Between me and John, I mean, we, 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 we actually laugh about this. We can't remember any words. So we have every song on an iPad right in front of us. So we're trying to act like we're not reading it most of the night, but for the most most of the part, we're we're reading right off. You are okay. I can't think of anything. They basically have like um like so a, it's a cheat sheet. Well, it's like an Ozzy oh, Osbourne it's, monitor. Yes. Oh wow! It's like, it's, a teleprompter. Used to have those like um what are those uh what are, Eddie what do you call teleprompter? Teleprompter. Yeah, yeah teleprompter. So you got a teleprompter. <laughs> like Ozzy's been using one for like thirty years. Yeah, he right. has. He can't remember the words to his own songs. Yeah, but, but look at what know, he's you been doing. that we were, the last time you saw us, you didn't notice what we were using that, right? No, I didn't. We faked it pretty well. You we did. You, know, you absolutely you, well. you absolutely fooled me completely. I swear right, to God, right. I didn't see any telephone. He there. just looked like he was looking at the chick in the front of the stage. Yeah, maybe. maybe but he was actually was. looking at the words. The girl actually thought he, he was looking at her, too. So she was getting excited. Yeah. But... So, Frank, you're still single, right? Yes. Frank's single and he's looking to mingle, girls. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Swipe left. Swipe left. We'll be your Tinder for you. How about Tinder? You Bumble. No, he's on Grinder. Grinder. <laughs> did, like... did you start a new dating app, Grinder? No, 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 no. <laughs> there was no. No dating app. No, I know. I'm no only kidding. kidding. I'm only kidding. No. His dating app would be called. El Papi Boricua. Mine is Blinder. <laughs> my, my. <laughs> that was Joe Murphy sticking his head in there. His is Blinder, he said. The, the ex Manudo dating app. Ex the Manudo. Ex- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not that I was in Manudo, but. Hey, listen. Eddie and I, 
the bottom line is, as long as you have more cowbell, that's all that matters. That's all we need. More that's cowbell. all you need. Cowbell. Cowbell? Okay. Just more cowbell. I was going to bring one to the gig and just, just start hammering a cowbell and oh see how long God. it would take to freak John out, but oh I couldn't find one. Yeah. I thought he would have one at his house. and Because no I figured if I hit it long no, enough, no, no, John no. will snap. And his eye patch will pop off. Oh, got it. <laughs> and start How's your fish? Oh, oh, my fish? Yeah. Um, the tank is empty, actually. Uh, oh, yours died, too? Yeah, she passed. Uh, he actually, he passed away like three weeks ago, yeah. Dude, I've gone so, through two already. I, I don't no, know if I'm doing something like wrong. One. So, no, no, they just... They only last like two years. Dude, I mine, get mine la- didn't even last three weeks. Dude, mine lasted like a week. Oh, no. The one, the last one I got after this one passed away, I, I went, you know, I had to go to the, uh, the store to get some cat food. I said, well, let me get a beta. And I got a female this time. For the huh. first time, I, I got a female. I, and I said, let me pick out the ugliest one that nobody <laughs> wants. <laughs> All right. The one that's like the bottom of the cup. Yeah. The, the ugliest color, like a pale yellow. Like a carcass. You know, oh, God. Yeah. Big beady eyes. And <laughs> I said, nobody's going to want this little her. She was like $2.95. 95 yeah. So I brought her home. I put her in the big tank that I have. And and she swam around for like a day or two. And then she just. Belly that out. was it. That was it. Yeah. She was done. Yeah. So I, I, I'm i going to take my water in to get tested to see if the water. Because I have Tetris, too. And the Tetris are fine. And then someone said to me that with the betas that it's important that you have a heater. But I'm yeah, like, I got a three-gallon tank. I mean, I'd have to get a small heater. But it's, apparently they said that the heater, because the, the, the betas come from very warm water in Asia. And so they're used to warm water. And if you don't have it at a certain temperature, they, they won't last their full life. So no, that's my next step. Test the water. And then, if not, get a heater. I don't know. I feel bad because I love them, and I feel like I feel like a Nazi. Like I'm just I'm just killing them. Well, listen, Frank. We have to get going, but we're gonna have you on our show again. And I thank you so much for being on with us. It was a pleasure. And uh, if I can get to see the band at Reds, I definitely will come down there. So I'd like to thank the audience for being with us today and for listening to us and and. Hopefully you enjoyed Frank because we did, and don't forget we're Funny Minds and our our um, site is Funny Minds at Podcast dot com and our organizations that we donate to, which I'm sure you will be generous enough to help us meet our goal this year is um, St. June's Children's Hospital and Breast Cancer. So give us a thumbs up, watch our show. And donate to two great places. And we'll see you again on our next show. Frank loves cookie. (laughs) Hi, y'all. Enjoyed it.